Hi, my name is Austin Hall. I'm a Tektronix application engineer. Today I'm going to show you that setting up a CAN bus for decode, triggering, and analysis on the 5 Series MSO is extremely easy. With a valid signal on channel 1, press default setup, and then auto set to scale the waveform correctly on the screen. Tap add new bus to add a bus. Now you can select CAN from your bus type dropdown. This signal is a CAN high signal running at the 2.0 protocol. We can also do CAN FD, ISO and non-ISO versions in our decode. We want to make sure that the bit rate is set correctly. 5 megabits per second is what this signal is running at, so we can leave this correct. Now we want to set a threshold. We want to select a signal that's between the top and the bottom of our signal. 2.7 volts should be enough. Now we want to scale out the waveform so that we can see enough of the decode happening. Next we're going to set up our trigger. Double tapping the trigger and then selecting bus from the trigger type will put us on the correct path. On trigger on we're going to select identifier. Double tap the hex field and select an identifier to trigger on. I'm choosing 519. Now we'll zoom in so we can see our trigger point. Adding a results table and a search provide a wealth of information to the user. Stopping the acquisition allows us to move through both the results table with the multi-purpose knobs and the search with the navigate buttons independently. In just a few minutes you can have your bus set up and start extracting useful information from your device.